this beat though look bitch don't fuck with me <laughs> oh my gosh i look so good anyways hey welcome back welcome back to the channel <laughs> I never know how to introduce it. Okay, my name is Aaliyah. I go by Fleek by Aaliyah on here. If you don't know me, if you're new, what's up? Um, today I'm going to do this soft beat. I know what you're thinking, it's not soft. I know what you're thinking, okay? But it's soft for me. If you're not hip to who I am or my style of makeup, I just love doing extra looks. And for the extra looks that I do, this is low key turned down a little bit. Like it's turned down a notch. I did a soft matte cut crease. I did white wings liner and then I added some Swarovski crystals to the liner. I did it on the on the lid and then on the wing of the eye. Glazed lip, hoop earrings, my head wrap, yes. You guys always ask me where my head wraps are from. They're from street shops in San Francisco. There's not a site, like I can't give you a site. I just, sometimes I go to San Francisco, I go to Chinatown. I, I've made a video on this. I will actually link the video for you. It's very old, okay, it's ratchet. But if you want to know where I got them from, I will link the video below. There's no site I can give you. But anyways, let's get let's get oh, always stuttering. Let's get into this soft glam, okay? Yes, it's soft for me. I hope you guys like it. I love it. I'm living like I'm here for this. I'm gonna go outside and go take some pictures because, bitch, I need the sun to like hit my highlight right. <laughs> okay, anyway. so first. I am really digging like a natural kind of brow like I'm just really digging it so we're gonna do a natural brow today and what I've been doing is taking this Mirabella brow pencil in medium I think I got it from Beautycon or Gen Beauty one of those and I'm just gonna run it through my brows this brow color is like dead on my brow hair color so it just blends right in it's not too dark it's not gonna look muddy at all so I've been really liking this brow pencil Like it's so light, it just blends right into my brow hairs. And I'm not gonna clean up my brows either. I'm just really going for a really bushy brow. No cleanup, no concealer cleanup at all. Okay, so after it's like um, briefly filled in, I'm just gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Chocolate Dip Brow and the number 12 brush. And I'm going to line up the bottom of my brow and then lightly create like hair-like strokes throughout my brows. Trying to remain neat because I'm like so bad at trying to remain neat when doing brows. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just like living for a brow like this like it's messy but it's not too wild it's kind of tamed and it just it's effortless and plus I've been growing out my brow hair so it's fucking perfect yes okay after that's done like this is it I'm just gonna run some gimme brow through my brows and I do that just to help define my brows and set them a little bit and this is in the number three it's like a dark brow Wait, did you guys notice I'm like filming on the opposite side of what I usually film on? Because I accidentally did the wrong eye off camera. It's okay though. You guys get to know this side of me today. <laughs> yes, I'm living. It's messy and I like it. If you don't like it, that's you. Don't like it. It's okay. You're not the one with the brow. Okay, that's it. We're going to start on the eye. Eye is super simple. I'm going to add Swarovski crystals. Yes, we are. It's a very soft beat, but we're going to add crystals. One second. It's so weird filming on this side. Okay, so to highlight my brow bone, first I'm going to take the Cover FX Enhancer Drops. This is in Sunlight, I think. Yes, Sunlight. I'm just going to take very little product. 
And I'm going to, let's see, which brush? I'n gonna go into this Wet Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. Got it at the Dallas Doe. And we're just gonna use that. Make sure the product is even on the brush. And then we're going to highlight the brow bone. Okay, and to blend that out a little bit, I'm gonna take the Morphe, no, just kidding, Real Techniques eyeshader brush. Do you see that brow bone highlight though? It's so awkward filming on this side, it's okay. Okay, and since this is a liquid highlight, I do just wanna set it very slightly. So I'm gonna take ColourPop's Churro Highlighter and just set it like light, not too much, but just so it's not wet. We're only using one palette today. Yes, one. I'm going to go into the Morphe 350 palette and I'm going to work, let's see. I'm going to work this shade and this shade into my crease. And this is the Morphe R38 brush. Whatever's left on our brush, we're just going to fan it out or what do you call it, smoke it out so it blends into our foundation. We just want an effortless blown out transition shade. And that's all this look is, a transition shade and a very soft cut crease, white liner, Swarovski crystals to give it that extra oomph. Okay, we're a little closer, my bad. So we're just working that in and then whatever's left we're fanning it out so it blends in to our foundation. And I'm just gonna blend everything together, the, the brow bone highlight and the transition shade with the Morphe G17, my favorite blending brush ever in life. You guys want a favorite brushes video? And I'll give you one, but I'm going to put a twist on it. Somebody recommended something so funny. I think it'll be so funny and it'll be so good. So I'm going to do that. Um, but let me know if you want me to separate face and eye brushes or should I just do it all in one video? If I do it all in one video, I just feel like it'll be super fucking long. But just let me know if you want me to separate it. But I am going to do one, but I'm just going to put a twist and make that shit funny as hell. Okay, we're all blown out, blended and everything. I'm going to cut the crease, do a half cut crease, not all the way, and I'm taking the LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in Light Ivory. We don't want to go too light because we want it to be soft and blend into the skin. And I do have a cut crease tutorial, you guys, a fully in-depth cut crease tutorial. I will link it at the end of the video. It will also be in my description box. Mastering the Finesse Cut Crease. If you guys don't know, I did start a makeup series where I'm going to in-depthly teach makeup techniques, skills, concepts. So I'm just gonna quickly go through this cut crease. But I do have a very in-depth cut crease tutorial if you wanna check that out. But I'm gonna go through this one, okay? And to start off, I'm taking a Wet n Wild Smudger Brush. Again, I got this at the Dallas Stowe. It works so well. I love this brush. Okay, so I did a half cut crease. Um, it doesn't have to be super crisp because we, because oh my gosh, because we want this to be soft. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna take, oh my gosh, I can't fucking talk. Guys, brr, okay, be good. I'm going to take the Morphe MB19 brush and I'm gonna smooth out this concealer so it isn't splotchy and gloopy on the lids. Okay, and then I'm just going to smooth it out even further and buff it with the Moda eyeshader brush.
Yes, okay, moving on. Going back into the 350 palette. All right, I'm going to go and take this shade right here with this No Name Ass brush. I think this is hella old and I also think it's from Walmart. So it's no special kind of brush and I'm just gonna mattify the cut crease. And you wanna like press the powder, like, I mean the shadow. You don't wanna like rub back and forth. Cause you might disturb the concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into this shade right here. Same brush, we ain't got time to switch brushes. And we are going to fade it into the cut crease like so. So I'm gonna tap it onto the end, onto the outer corner of my eye and fade it into the concealer or into the half cut crease, like so. We want it to just fade seamlessly and beautifully. And then go in with the darker shade we used right here and put that on the outer edge and blend it in as well. We just want like a seamless gradient effect from deep to light to our cut crease. It just looks so beautiful, so soft, so effortless. Low key, this is what I, this is like the makeup I would wear to my wedding. Like why the fuck not? Okay, we're good. Let's start our white winged liner. See that makeup look was like so easy. I'm gonna take the NYX gel liner right here can you is it focusing okay for sure i'm going to thin it down a little bit with the rcma foundation thinner because it's just easier for me to work with this concealer i mean this fucking liner dried out a little bit so it's kind of hard to just work with it on its own right now so i'm just thinning it out a little bit and to apply the liner i'm going to use the morphe m217 brush which is just an angled liner brush so I just scoop some out on the back of my hand and I just put very little foundation thinner because this stuff goes a long way. And then just mix it in. Now I need concentration for liner, okay? So I can't be talking through this part, okay? Now let's get started. Okay, wing liner is on. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit because I added that foundation thinner and then we're gonna add our crystals. Okay, so now we're gonna add the Swarovski crystals. These, these are in the style AB. I don't know how to pronounce the full name, but I will link these below. So this is what we're applying. We're gonna start off with the smallest measurement. Okay, so I like to apply my crystals with some duo brush on lash glue. This is the only glue I like to use because it's really tacky and it really sticks. I like this glue. And then I just take some tweezers. If you want me to make a very in-depth way on how I adhere crystals, let me know um, because it's very tedious so I'm not going to show you guys how I'm going to adhere every crystal. But all I do is put some glue where I'm going to put the crystal, pick it up with my tweezers and put it on my eye. I'm placing the crystals not too close to my lash line or else my lashes like my falsies won't go on right. So I'm just trying to keep it above my lash line, not touching my lashes. And I'm just gonna switch off between eyes so like they remain even and I don't run out of crystals on one eye and the other eye is uneven. So that's what I'm doing, I'm switching off. Okay, so I actually I'm deciding to stop halfway like where the half cut crease um, ends and then just put crystals along the wing. I think that'll look pretty dope. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Let me just zoom in. Okay, you guys can see it a little better. Okay, let's go. So I just stopped halfway, as you can see, and now I'm just going to put the crystals all on the wing. Yeah. 
Yes, okay, yes, 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 work. Okay, to finish off the eyes, I'm going to quickly coat my lashes with some L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara, top and bottom. Oh, we're still filming, fuck. Okay, for lashes, I'm gonna take these Bahi Cosmetics Paloma lashes. They're so, they're so beautiful, okay? I had to cut them a little bit because they were a little too irritating in the inner corner, but here's what they look like. We're about to plop those on. I'm gonna use the same glue I used to adhere my crystals. Okay, lashes are on, so let's finish off the rest of our face. So I just want to take some more of this Cover FX Enhancer Drops and place it on my nose right here, Cupid's Bow. So, cause I really love a highlight on the nose and the Cupid's Bow is like my favorite. So we're gonna do that. And I'm just going to apply it with a damn beauty blender. It's clean, but it's dirty, okay? I used it to do my face, don't trip. Is it me though, or did I really snatch my nose? Like, I think I really snatched it today. Like, it looks really good. Yes, okay, we just want to do it subtly just so the highlight pops in that area. And we're going to go in with Churro, my favorite highlighter by ColourPop. And then we're going to go in with the same Real Techniques brush that we use on our brow bone. And we're just going to go over the highlighter. Okay, for our cheekbones, we're going to use the Morphe M310 brush, and I'm going to spritz it with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray real quick. Give it an extra oomph when it goes on my cheekbones. I want the highlight to be focused right here. That's what I fucking love. Like, yes. Okay, let's apply some. Actually, let's bronze. I'm gonna go take this MAC um, Extra Dimension Skin Finish and Glorify and the Morphe MB1 brush. And I'm just gonna bronze up where I contoured. Lastly, I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going to use the same palette I've been using. I'm going to take the Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette. I love this palette, actually. Let's try out this color. Let's, let's do some extra shit today. And I'm taking the Morphe MB4, just very lightly, because this palette is super pigmented. Put it right on the apples. Like, you really just need to tap your brush on the color once, and boom. Okay, to seal the deal, melt everything into the skin so everything becomes one with the skin. We're gonna set our face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I did like a different method with my foundation routine today. We're gonna see if it works. It's supposed to be like budge proof. I tried a little something, something different. So we're gonna see if it's budge proof. And then I'll let you guys know if it is. Okay. Okay, let's do the lips. Let's do the lips. I'm gonna wait first off let's line our lips I'm gonna take the color pop pitch lip liner which is basically just dark brown I'm gonna line my lips okay and then we're going to take what is this called? Brown Sugar by Kylie Cosmetics. Oh, bitch, I'm living. But we need a gloss, okay? We need a gloss. Lastly, okay, I promise, this is the last product we're using today. Let's go take some pictures. I'm gonna take this, what, oh shit. 
this wet n wild lip gloss and sun glaze only a dollar only a dollar and they're so good i'm just gonna top my lips with this oh i'm living bitch i didn't know how frosty this was yes come through yes Okay, you guys, this completes my look. I hope you enjoyed it. It was semi soft beat, okay? Like, yes, the crystals added a little bit of extra, but y'all know that I am an extra bitch, okay? I can't just do simple glams for so long. I can only do so many simple glams. But another one is actually coming up. You guys want to see my glossy no makeup makeup look, so I'm gonna do that for y'all. But I hope you guys like this. The natural bushy brow, like I'm living. Like, I love these kind of brows. Like I didn't even clean them up. Like I did such a good job. And the soft, the soft, what do you call it? A cut crease, my head wrap, <gasps> the Swarovski crystals, this like very glazed lip. I'm living. I love this look so much. I'm going to go outside and go take some pictures. That's what I'm going to do. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this look. If you want to become part of the homie gang, you feel me? Hit that subscribe button this is what i always be doing now i gotta find another move but i just like it when my finger goes the fuck up and the subscribe button is right the fuck there yes anyways i love you guys so much thank you for loving me and supporting me um i will see you in my next video which will probably be my glossy no makeup makeup look that i posted on instagram and twitter i love you guys and i will see you in my next upload